welcome back everyone to another lego shang chi video so to, in today's video i'm going to be talking about the shang chi lego set called escape from the ten rings mm -hmm. as you may know i actually i actually used this lego set already for one video if you watched my last video then you obviously would have known that i made this video where i had this fight scene between these two these two dudes right here so yeah and then i had the mandarin in the middle so yeah he is so i have this fight scene if you want to see that video or if you haven't watched it yet then click the card at the top or if you don't click that then i'll just link it at the end so yeah so to start this off i'm actually going to be talking about the minifigures first before i talk about the actual build itself so yeah let's just start on that so uh the first one obviously is shang chi who will be the main character of this movie when it comes into t in september now um, for the most part, Shang-Chi is very, very, very accurate, except, um, for the most part, his is mostly very accurate, except, um, his is very accurate, mostly, and if you compare it to his actual, and to his actual movie counterpart, then, you know, it's actually really accurate, and actually, the one of the better parts about this is that we actually get a picture of the movie version right here, so... We actually do get like his actual face and it matches this one. Now, um, now when I actually looked at the trailer again and I realized that there's only one part of the trailer where Shang-Chi's outfit matches him. It matches his outfit in this part of the tra trailer where, um, where he's fighting against the Mandarin and where the, when, where the Mandarin does like a flying kick or something and then he hits him with something, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah, and now this scene looks closer to the end of the movie, in my opinion. So, now, I will say the Lego did a very good job at, um, Lego did a very good job at making this almost spot on to his movie counterpart. So yeah, so now the next step I will do is the Mandarin. So I will now do the Mandarin now. Next up is the Mandarin, aka Wenwu, because apparently when you actually look at the box it doesn't actually classify him as the mandarin it, they just call him wenwu and now i've been calling him the mandarin if you don't know the mandarin's actual real name is actually wenwu but still it doesn't really make much of a difference so yeah but it doesn't really matter though it's not really a big deal um so yeah so now just like shang chi wenwu's outfit looks like the exact same one from that one scene where Shang-Chi is fighting against him, and he does a flying kick. And at the end, if you watch that at 0.25x speed, which I did, you can actually see the Mandarin's rings on his arm as the scene is about to end, but yeah, or the part's about to end, so yeah. Um, his outfit looks exactly the same from this part. Now, throughout the trailer, the Mandarin's style changes a lot, but um, his hairstyle changes a, kind of a lot, but it only changes, like, about once, and that's when he has long hair. And I don't even know if that's the actual Mandarin, but it probably is. But but throughout, like, most of the trailer, his hair is usually like this. It's short, and it's cut, and it looks straight like that, mostly. So, yeah. But for everyone's hairstyle, though, everyone's hair looks really good, except for razor, razor fists, but I'll get into that later. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, next up, we have Katie, which is supposed to be Shang-Chi's friend his uh his friend back when he lived in the states obviously so yeah but actually before i finish up with uh the mandarin i will say though when i got this lego set there were these rings that i that you could take out there were these rings that you could use now i it only came with four of them which was kind of ridiculous because there's 10 of them and there's only two shang chi lego sets so if you did the math and you'd only have eight you wouldn't even have like all the way up so yeah, there's only, it only shows four of them, so yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, but you know, but yeah. Also, the way how it shows you you're supposed to use them, you're supposed to hold them like this. Although in le in the movie, the Mandarin wears them around his arm like this, so yeah. I don't know, it's kind of ridiculous, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna criticize that bad, <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, next up we have Katie, who is Shang-Chi's friend when he lived in the States. Now, her outfit is the most confusing out of everybody, because... Her outfit doesn't show up literally anywhere in the trailer. I watched the trailer. Uh, I watched the trailer, and her outfit doesn't match up with any scene at all. Now, 
So this means that we may see her in wearing this in some unreleased footage or something if we ever get a second Shang-Chi trailer, which we will eventually, prob probably like during like July or something, maybe even during June, but I'm not sure. So yeah, so obviously, um, so yeah, she's wearing this in this scene, which probably means that uh, she's probably, she's probably going to be in the same scene where this whole Lego set itself takes place, which if you don't know, I do have some uh, theories on that. Well, actually, I only have one, but still. Now, lastly, I'm going to be talking about Razor Fist here, which, um, now, one thing that's kind of annoying is I kind of call Razor Fist Razor Crest because that's the name of the Mandalorian ship. But, yeah, it gets really annoying, though. But, anyway, now, there is some issues with Razor Crest here, and there is a lot, actually. So, if you don't know Razor Crests, uh, or no, Razor Fist, his hair is messed up. His hairstyle literally looks the exact same one that Falcon wears in the one that Falcon has in Falcon and Winter Soldier. So that's completely not accurate because if you look at the trailer, he has a different hair color. His color is off and his style is off also, which he has no style, but still. Um, and then now the last thing I'll say is his hand. His hand, his hand color looks way different than his, uh, not way different, but like the shade of gray is kind of inaccurate, so yeah. Because, for example, um, if you look at the actual Razor Crest, which I'm about to show you right now in 3, 2, 1. When you actually see his, not only does it show that uh, his hand is also a different shade of gray. Now, Lego got, got the color correct, but they didn't get the record shade. Now, I know, I know it's not as bad, but like still, though, they could have fixed it. Because, number one... Um, Lego actually has a pretty decent piece that would actually be useful for this. They have this shade of gray, which I also have. So they could have used that instead of just keeping it with the same shade of gray. But yeah. Now, at first, when I first saw this set, I really didn't like the fact that um, when I saw this online, I didn't like the fact that Razor Crest's hand has a... Um, some of like um like um like a kind of like a weird thing where you just go like this but then uh when i watched the trailer at 0.25x speed i realized that um i didn't watch the whole trailer i watched the end of the trailer at 0.25x speed but yeah around the end but yeah but i realized that his hand actually looks more like this so i actually have to so yeah lego did actually a good job on this but everything else though is kind of bad though his arm doesn't have any printing, which it makes lots of sense. His back has barely any, but also on the back he has a Ten Rings logo. Now, um, not uh, n and none of the other characters have a Ten Rings logo on them, but the motorcycles that you see right here, yeah, they have a Ten Rings logo. Now this, now this guy does not have a Ten Rings logo, but it looks similar to it, which I used in the video that I made. Uh, I think I, like, uh, I uploaded a few weeks ago, but yeah. So, yeah, they could have done it like that, which is kind of a shame, but yeah, they, they, they actually could have fixed up his hand a lot easier, but yeah, so, so now the reason why I think this set is from this very short part of the trailer, which I'm about to show you right now, in 3, 2, 1. The reason why I think it's from this one is because the car is oh, is kind of the same as it. Even though the car has some, like, markings on it and stuff like that, it still looks a little bit different, though. And um, But it does match with it, though, especially because if you see in this part right here, you will see Shang-Chi jumping off a car and hitting someone on a motorcycle. Now, I think that Razor Crest may be a part of this chase, but I don't think the Mandarin will be. Because the Mandarin is going to be, like, you know, dealing with other stuff. So, yeah. I don't think he would have time to, like, chase after it. But maybe he will. I'm not sure. But, yeah. And then, um... Now, this Lego set itself, it's called Escape from the Ten Rings. Which means that... If it's going to be escaping from the Ten Rings, that means that at some point in the movie, the Mandarin is going to bring back Shang-Chi, which is probably in that one part where they're all exiting out of the helicopter. And then, later on, they're obviously going to escape. So, yeah. Now, this part of the trailer is very short, and lots of people probably missed it, but, yeah. Except for, like, um, people who, like, watched it at, like, really slow speeding or something. But, yeah. So, this means that uh, Katie and Shang-Chi are going to be trying to escape from the Ten Rings, it's possible that that what's called they they may split up with uh 
partially, but not sure though. Now, um, I do want to talk a little bit about these cannons that are right here. These cannons are mostly, there's two of them. There's one of them which shoots like this. Then there's another one that, that shoots like this. So yeah. So there's two cannons, they shoot like that, and they're very fast, obviously. Now, um, now one thing I did want to say now is the last thing I do want to talk about before I leave is this thing. I have no idea what the heck is this, and I've never seen this throughout the trailer, so yeah. So yeah, so this is apparently someone called Morris, which I have no idea who that is, but honestly, I'll just give you a brief description. Morris has two wings, at least one's like on the top, one's on the bottom. He has around like six legs, I think, and then... He also has like a weird body. Now, f when you look at the actual box itself, it shows him in the background doing his own thing. So it doesn't really have much to do with, he's not really in the entire scene itself. So yeah, which doesn't really make sense to me, but yeah. Now we've never actually seen this guy throughout any trailers. Now, uh, uh, we, haven't, we haven't seen this, this guy in any trailers. But if we, but eventually when we actually do get like a second or more release footage, eventually we may see more of Morris, and yeah, we may see more of that, and we may, and we may figure out more about what he is. Personally, I think that he belongs to either the Mandarin or Shang Chi. It's possible that Shang Chi is trying to take him, and they're trying to escape, and or it's possible that he's he that um that he just happens to be lying in the background and he's just an easter egg but yeah but he's but he seems to be pretty significant though because he shows up right here in this so like it doesn't really make sense and he's like the first thing you would see when you read the lineup so yeah it doesn't really make sense to me but yeah so um anyway that's all for today and uh if you like this video please be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel um, there, there, this video on the Lego sets breakdown is, uh, was only 10 minutes long, but yeah. Anyway, here is the video on the, the Shang-Chi Lego sets breakdown, and here is the video on my last Marvel trailer breakdown, but yeah. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe.